Good night, everybody. Here I have my latest version of my uh, CPN emulator. Uh, to show its current speed, I have optimized it a lot in the last days. I was kind of bored, so I had to find something to do. And to show this its true speed, I'm running here my my Coco 3 Itachi, but in the 6809 mode, which is exactly the same as a stock Coco 3 back from 1986, same speed, 2 megahertz, running on on the level 2, uh, you can see here, 6809. Uh, to display this, I will show the World Star 3. Uh, just type WS. And the application now is running. It's full emulated. Every instruction in the executable is load, processed, and executed as it was a real Z8 machine, but instead it's a virtual machine that runs and interprets every instruction. Let's type enter. And it's executed in 6809 counterpart. Uh, except when it goes for system calls like printing a character on screen, accessing file, then the control is passed back to OS 9. But until then, everything is pure emulation on a virtual machine uh, where the memory is mapped to the Z8 uh, machine ma memory map uh, from 0 to up to B. E00 for example and uh, the OS 9 runs on top of the, the run and the uh, fake uh, BDOS system is provided uh, for in you know, a trap mechanism every, every time it, the address it goes through a BDOS call or BIOS the control is passed to OS 9 uh, for instance let me open a text I have previously typed a long text that I copied from Wikipedia it's the WordStar doc oh sorry I changed the highlights to be color so you have a, a nicer effect I don't like the inverse video it doesn't look good uh, just remember that if it was running as native uh, 6309 that would be 20 to 30 percent faster just because of the native mode so here I am I already have the text loaded I'm gonna edit it for example let's go to the let's type something You see, uh, you can type text on it. It's running. Uh, yes, it's slow, right? Because it's emulated. It's a two megahertz machine, but it's doing a pretty good job uh, emulating. It's it's not that bad. You can actually I type it all this text on it, and uh, for example, we can page down. Yeah, it's slow, but even back then, the word starts not like we have today. It was all text with those screen updates. It was, of course, much faster on a native Z8 machine, but 
the 6809 it's it's doing a really good job here and uh, you still have the the underlying system right it's running perfect here while I still have my word start running and just to humiliate the Z8 Z8 once for all let's run Turbo Pascal Turbo Pascal runs much faster than the the WordStar because WordStar is a word word processing application. Every every key you type, every keystroke, you do a lot of processing, find the words, separating words, adjustment. It I counted. It takes like twenty five thousand instructions per keystroke, and here it's not that that same thing it's oh let me see which file we have uh, let's take uh, test.pass test.pass just edit it then you have a much faster because here is a simple text editor Responsiveness is much faster. Ah, don't forget that I still have the word star here working the same speed it was before. This is a real multitasking system. And you can take a look on the process we have. Two CPM running, one shell, and one proc that is displaying the screen. Let's go back to Turbo Pascal. Uh, let's put something here. Remember, it's a 6809 mode, it's like a stock Coco 3 back from 1986. Just typing with one hand here is complicated here should be there you go control k t and run it will compile and run the, the application it's just a stupid program to make uh, multiplications i just did it for a quick test on loop and multiplication routines uh, and if you want to see the, the free memory there you go uh, you can see here that it's yeah the the it, it, I'm running on 6809 I'm, I'm used to the 6309 which is much faster and uh, that's it, we can open even more CPM applications. Let's do this. Let's do um, basic. Hello, Bill Gates. But it's it's low to load because they're not tokenized it takes so let's do a simple code here. Oh typing with one hand is complicated. running we go to Wordstar we can do some 
text operation here. Yeah, as, as long as I have more application running, it, it will all get slow. Look that it completed the operation while still in the other screen, so it runs in, in parallel. Like, uh, of course, it's time sharing, it's not a multi core CPU, but it does, it runs. While I was editing the text, he was completing the M basic, the M basic loop I created here, and we can, do we have, we do still have memory? Yeah, we have plenty of it. So maybe we can have a time to play a little. No, oh, not Zark. I'll go to. Uh, I need to put Zork one, but no, I, I'll, I'll go for Hitchhike. The first, the first operation we do here takes a little longer because it it will access the file. It's opening, the crunching the file, doing the, the operation. That's the first command you do in this game. It's a little slower, but then it's it's a good speed. And having four applications, concurrent applications, makes things even slower. <laughs> Because uh, WordStar, it's not idling. WordStar is, is doing loop. It's sensing the key and doing several things. Here you go. Uh, we can stand up. There you go. And memory, 100.4. We still have memory. We have four CPM applications running. Wordstar, Turbo Pascal, Basic. You can see it gets slower as we open more and more applications. That's normal. Hitchhike, to PM. Maybe we can try opening more uh, well I have word star for zero here let's do it the different version yeah it's really slower now due to so many applications running at the same time it's not recommended, <laughs> but since I can, I'm running there. If I quit the other applications, this will run faster. Let's open the same file here. If I wait a little bit, we will show the directory. Just have to wait a little more. It's slowing things down. Mm -hmm. Read me or start doc.
And there you go, five applications running at the same time on a 2 MHz machine emulating 4Z8 running four CPM applications at the same time. Uh, pretty amazing, huh? And not only this, you still have OS9 operating, doing its job. Well, we can start quitting applications. Let's quit basic. See, return to Turbo Pascal. K, T, and we can just quit. Return to, so we have now H high. Let's quit. I don't want to kill, but you can eventually go to the term and kill. It will die instantly. But since we are very polite here, polite here, I don't want to kill anybody. Now I have only two world stars running. Should be faster now. But I, I prefer the world star three. Yeah, I don't know, it's like a, it has a better terminal options to this one has much simpler terminal. But yeah. It's faster now. Since I have only two word stars running, but I can keep only one control K kill. Yes. And you press X. Back to only one word star. I really don't like this word star. It looks like the terminal is not good. This is the terminal. It's the heat. Heat 89. Yeah. Looks like it truncated the header here. Like it skipped one line or scroll at this, this screen. See, now it fixed, but that's it. So here is the Motorola 6809. Let's see the memory now. Running several CPM applications at the same time. And the system just stood up, stand up and uh, return all applications. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.